Hello and welcome back to the Gorilla Biker and uh, today we're going to be talking about something that is going to probably make some people be angry at me but that's okay sometimes and the reason is we're back at my favourite stopping spot on the way home from work uh, the Nightcap Bar Restaurant and Lounge and um, I think this is a good indication to how sometimes some bikes are minded or taken care of or maintained in Ireland so let's get on the road and talk about it a little, a little bit more and by the way just on the outset of this okay this is not a negative video in any way shape or form um, this is for the good of biking in general in my opinion and for actually for the good of people buying second hand bikes which obviously I do a lot and uh, so there's no there's no judgment here there's not this isn't about me saying oh you don't know what you're doing with your bikes etc this is very much uh, how can we do it better and what I mean by that how can we do it better oh I'm gonna have to overtake you oh no you're going left yay um, what I mean by that is, you know, for instance, in Ireland, for cars, we have something called the NCT, which is the National Car Test. And what that does is, um, it's not a bad thing uh, in, in a lot of ways. Now, in a lot of ways, it is also a bad thing. In some ways, it's not a bad thing, I should say. The thing that I like, my God, it's so windy again. The thing that I like about the NCT is, it can sometimes, if the NCT tester is a decent human being, can catch things in time and not just randomly fail people for silly things. And that person might have been completely oblivious to the thing being damaged. And it's the same with what we now call the CVRT here, which would used to be the DOE, and that it's for commercial vehicles. And there's a number of other tests for other things. You can do a CVRT for trailers, etc. right? What we lack in Ireland is some form of test for bikes. Now, before everyone jumps down my throat and says, no, all the testing for bikes is bad. Oh my God, this wind is so bad. Hear me out, okay? Please listen to everything I have to say. Oh my God. <laughs> before you make a judgment uh, on what I'm saying to you, this wind is absolutely horrific. But what I would like to see is something like they have in the UK, uh, the MOT. But an MOT that's carried out by trained motorcycle mechanics that are, the, you know, they still have their own shop. So if you go in and they find some issues, they can actually fix them for you. My biggest gripe with the NCT uh, is it's removed from garages, okay? Now, I know that originally might have been to, to save people from, um, you know, getting ripped off by garages who were just failing them on things for the sake of failing them. But what they didn't realize maybe when conceptualizing this is the NCT is now a government organization and they exist uh, to rob your money. Uh, in government organizations, that is. That's literally what they're for is massive tax collectors. Now, I am sorry if you work for the NCT, I, that doesn't reflect on you. I personally know some people who work for the NCT and you're decent people, and I know there's decent people in every walk, but not everyone is decent, is my point. And that is pretty much why I would oppose any form of kind of governmental uh, tests for bikes, just because I don't trust them, and I don't think they're there for your best interest, whereas a motorcycle mechanic who wants to build a relationship with a customer that might last 10, 20, 30, 40 years, um, and who wants to actively maintain you as a customer, they're looking out for your bike. Obviously, they're making sure it's legally good, but they'll also tell you, you know, hey, these are the things that need to be changed and fixed, and we can fix them in this amount of time. And that is why I like the MOT. It's why I like the way they run the MOT uh, in England. So. You know, that, that's nice to see. There's obviously, there's other testing there for bikes in other countries uh, that falls short. And, and one thing actually to, to point out on that is the, the likes of the TUV, the My Falco, the brand new TUV. And I mean, that is not the way I would hand that bike to anyone. I mean, all of the work I did to the Falco, I did and have done, still not knowing, can I financially afford to keep a jet? You know, I might have to sell that bike yet. It, it, it's something that could happen. Right, so it doesn't matter to me though, is in I would not have passed on that bike to someone else without doing a few bits to it. And one last thing I want to do to it is to change all the wheel bearings just because I don't know how old they are. And I learned my lesson, uh, so that's something that I will always spot and do from now on. You know, a lot of people obviously they don't want people touching their bikes, 
and that's why a lot of people are resistant to um, you know any form of testing coming in for bikes but the thing is it could, it could actually save people because I've seen the state of some bikes that are out there and they're awful they're really poorly maintained and that's like I said this isn't a oh you're, you're, you're bad this isn't an oh you're bad video this is a people might not know and I'm sure that there's a lot of people out there who actually actively don't know you know maybe their chain is well beyond its service life maybe their sprockets are hooked beyond comprehension maybe there's some bushes some bearings that are going and they might not know they might not know how to check and they go out and get a wobble and blame it on tires blame it on water on the road but maybe it's something else and all of these things can be hidden and that's kind of why you know I'd nearly like to see it but I really think that it needs to be done right and something I think we have to avoid and I'm gonna make another video on this is is demonizing people who do ride bikes and own bikes and enjoy their bikes the same way the cars have been demonized and that I think is where my concerns come in and I'd imagine it's where a lot of other people would be concerned in that you know NCT testing came in in Ireland for instance and you saw a lot of cool cars that had little bits and pieces done to them and some of them done really 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 well some of them done, done really really poorly but they all disappeared because it's the same as like speeding laws it's a it's it's all done for the lowest common denominator it's all a catch-all and if there's one thing i absolutely hate it's lowest common denominator catch-all rules because inevitably most people lose with them do you know what i mean if you aim for your lowest common denominator most people aren't that you know what i mean most people do look after their bikes most people do look after their cars you know most people if they go a little bit over the speed limit they're fully capable of doing it and they know the risks and they're able to watch then you have certain people who go way too fast etc and then it gets everyone a bad name but again that's a separate video because something really annoyed me recently that i feel the need uh, to speak about anyway so it's something that i don't know like i'm looking for opinions on this i'd really like to know what other people think for me if it was ever something to come in bike testing in, in ireland uh, i would support it if it was done right if it was done in a way that it wasn't purely aimed at getting nice exhaust off bikes keeping everything stock and boring not that stock is boring stock can be very nice um you know i'm keeping the falco pretty stock because i like it that way uh but you know like this bike if someone had told me oh no you can't change your exhausts i don't know what i have kept it as long i really like how my bike sounds now and i really didn't like how it sounded before this wind is hor horrifically strong but where i think uh, this could actually be a, a, be a benefit a bonus to, to us the biker community is if you look at the quality of motorcycles you can buy in england second hand they are leagues leagues above where the bikes are in ireland and that is all down to the fact that you know if you want to keep that bike on the road in england you have to look at or the uk i should say you know you have to look after it you are legally obliged to look after it to a certain degree obviously you know some things are still gonna go amiss you know not every test is perfect things will f fly under the radar um and whatever else but in the main it means that the bikes have to be looked at by a professional at least once a year and i think that's a good thing you know it's um it it, it kind of worries me sometimes knowing that you know friends of mine people i know go out and they buy motorcycles here second hand and they ride them home and you yeah, know they get them looked at once they get them home but it could be absolutely anything wrong with it and it's a real culture here in this country that you know people <laughs> people try to get away with as much as possible you know they'll see oh you know uh, x y and z need to be done on the bike that's going to cost me this much so i'll just sell it before all of those are like completely end of life so then whatever poor fecker buys them buys that bike or you know they, they get landed with all this extra stuff that they may not have budgeted for that they might not know about and it's not even the budget right if you buy a used vehicle you should expect to have to do do some work to it unless you're buying it with like a six month warranty you need to budget to do some work to it all right that's just that's a fact um and i said that in my you know buying a second hand motorcycle video you, you have to budget to spend a little bit of money to get the thing right that's just that's life you know and even if you buy something brand new there's no guarantee that it's not going to break it's just again warranties protect you so everything breaks you know what i mean uh, nothing is perfect no system catches all faults 
um, and I am I work in manufacturing I'm an engineer so I can I can say this confidently that even if you really care about your job and try to do the absolute best that you can which I do you still make mistakes you still miss things you might have been tired etc so no quality control system is perfect so you know it doesn't matter if you buy a brand new bike something can still be wrong that's that's a fact but if you buy a second hand bike i can guarantee you something will be wrong and like i said before that's that's not because the owner the previous owner is vindictive or anything maybe they are but anyway you know i'm going to keep saying mot because i actually like how they do it in the uk I would like to see a replica of that. Now, what I wouldn't like to see is I wouldn't like to see average noise cameras, average speed cameras everywhere. We've already gotten one in Ireland now uh, on motorways. There's ones in tunnels. The ones in the tunnels kind of make sense. I'm okay with them. Um, but the ones on motorways and stuff are absolute bullshit. And uh, I really hope someone cuts them down or something. I, I hope they disappear because they're, they're complete nonsense and shouldn't be a thing. Um, you know, you're just assuming everyone was guilty at some point and you're going to catch them. It's, it's not how the law should work. It's innocent and proven guilty. And if you monitor someone all the time, of course you're going to catch them doing something wrong. Um, whether it be intentional or not. That's that's a fact. Um, but, you know, I do think that the MOT in the style they have would protect people uh, from themselves. It would protect them from things that are failing that they might not see, they might not know how to check. And it would protect them from, um, you know, dodgy second-hand motorcycles, to a degree, which I would like. And, you know, it's something I'm guilty of myself. Uh, you know, the first time I dropped the bike up to Dean and Motormax suspension, it's something I never even thought to check was the, uh, the bearings in the suspension linkage. That's something now that I keep a firm eye on on everything that I look at and buy. It was the same with my wheel bearings, you know, until this, the one on the CBF collapsed. I did always check them every time I had a wheel off, um, but I never really thought about, you know, age and stuff, and that maybe I should just change them regularly. Now now I'm going to do that, you know, I've changed them on the Jixxer, uh, I've changed them on the CBF, they're going to be changed on the Magna soon, and I'm going to change the ones on the Aprilia. So, it's, it's just one of those things that, you know, as you go through things, you learn to do things and, and maintain things. You know, I'm nearly 30, I'm 30 next month. And it's taken me till 30 to learn some things, and I'm always trying to learn new things on bikes. But some people don't have the liberty of having X amount of bikes, some people don't have the liberty to ride bikes as much as I do, and break as many things as I do, and be able to afford to fix them. So, like I said, it's just one of those things, I think, um, if there was something in place to help people monitor them, not only could they know it's a problem, well, like, it doesn't mean that you have to have the garage fix it. They could say, oh, you know, X, Y, and Z is wrong. And you say, okay, you guys fix X, and I'm going to do Y and Z at home myself. I have time, I have time to learn, and I want to learn. That's, you know, that, that'd be nice. And a huge part of it for me is, honestly, open the quality of the used bikes in Ireland. Uh, we are an island. There's loads of really good garages out there that, that fix things, you know, Freeman Motorcycles. Um, RPM and Drada, I know them as I know them as well. I know people have gone to them for servicing. They're very happy. Obviously, Motormax suspension. Uh, I'm trying to think of other people that I know personally uh, and have dealt with personally. I suppose. Obviously, I bought this bike off Franklin. It was in very good condition, but I've never had anything serviced by them or seen anything serviced by them. Um, but I know if Roberto is still there. I know he was back there. Roberto was very good uh, on the spanners, so they're there as well. You know, it really depends. It's, it's, it all comes down to finding finding someone you trust as well uh, with your machines. But, I mean, I'll put it to you this way. If my bikes had to be MOT'd, I would drop them down to any of the guys or girl in Freeman's and let them go through the bike. Uh, more, more, more than happy to do that. Um, and even though I do keep an eye on my bikes myself, you always miss something. Like, every time nearly I go up to Dean, he's like, oh, you should look at that, you should look at that, you should look at that. Because Dean is doing this every day of the week. And... It doesn't matter how much you look after your own bikes, you're never going to be as experienced as someone who does it 100% themselves. It's the same as, again, to go back to the manufacturing thing. Where I learn the most from is, is operators, people who work with machines all of the time. That is their bread and butter. And you go out and you, you try to tell them how to fix something, I guarantee you they have a fix already. And that's, you know, it's the same thing for mechanics. They, they know what they're looking at. They know what they're talking about. They've probably seen it a hundred times before. Um, and that's that's where I'd like to learn from. 
So I suppose that's my little ramble um, around that, you know, is, is what what do you think uh, if you're based in Ireland or if you're based in another country, let me know. Yeah, first, if you're based in another country, let me know, do you have any motorcycle yearly testing? Um, if, if, if you do, do you find it good? Do they often find issues? And if they find issues, can they fix them in-house? Or is it a big, massive, corrupt machine like the NCT? Um, like I said, that's not thrown shade at NCT testers. It's it's the format of the NCT itself I don't really agree with. Um, you know, I know people who work with them are mechanics, um, but I like why not fi why not just give it to garages? You know, you'd create jobs. Third-party garages would would be able to fix stuff, and uh, people might want to actually be mechanics again. I mean, I'd love to. I'd love. I would have loved to train as a mechanic when I came out of school and I did inquire about it but no one wanted apprentices at the time because it was uh, just wasn't busy enough at the time I suppose but it's something that I do regret I mean I'm very happy with my current job I love my job um, I actually do like my job a lot uh, I like my, my career as well and the path I'm in is, is fine you know I get to I get to work with tools I get to design things it's it's nice but I absolutely love mechanicking um, it's massive hobby of mine you know uh, yeah anyway not to go off on a tangent but if you live in Ireland what do you think would you like to see some form of testing coming in for bikes on a yearly basis or something and um, would you support it if it was implemented right and this is the important thing right because I do think that it's very likely to happen eventually no matter what we do no matter what we say no matter how angry we get about it I do think it's going to happen eventually right so if that comes about let's not be quiet like we too often are and uh, let's get it let's get it implemented properly let's get it implemented in a way that you know gives business to third party garages uh, that lets them get you know qualified in doing the testing that lets them fix problems for their customers who they actually care about and want to keep as customers so won't screw you over and um, that would be that would be cool to me uh, to see that that would be how i'd like to see it implemented yeah I don't know. Well, let me know what you think. Would you like to see it or are you completely, completely against it? And if you have any modifications you'd like to make to what I have suggested, let me know. Let me know. I'm, I'm honestly, this is a conversation I've had with multiple people and most people who I speak to um, actually are fully for it. They all say, yeah, I think it'd be a great idea. Uh, I think it'd, it'd see the, the overall quality of bikes in Ireland get a kick up and uh, that can only be a good thing and it might actually improve people's perceptions of it as well if all bikes were, were neater uh, you know something that always kind of blows me away whenever I come across guys and girls from the UK on their bikes they are minty fresh they're so clean <laughs> now I don't know is that just because those are fairly new or they are they looked after or is it because you know they have to keep them to a certain standard because they know they're getting tested every year oh, a little horse and a big horse I don't know but yeah let me see how you uh, what you think I'm really let me know what you think I'm really interested to get as many kind of opinions globally on this like do you think in your area of the globe if you have testing is it really badly implemented you know do you hate it like I absolutely hate the NCT for cars because it's nonsense you know it's 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 nearly 25% 30% of it's done for emissions it's like yeah but if it's an older car does it really matter but anyway that's another another discussion for another day anyway yeah let me know um i would love to see lots of comments on this lots of opinions and like i said i'm not attacking anyone uh, i am a backyard mechanic myself i do try to look after all of what i do on my bikes myself so this is not sh this is not me throwing shade i suppose is the word for it at people who want to do the work themselves i fully 100 percent support that um, it's more just a kind of a checks and balances, a second set of eyes, and anyone who's done work knows that sometimes a second set of eyes um, finds 10 new problems that you would have never seen because you're staring at it too closely, or you're too close to the problem, you know, something like that. Yeah. That was probably way too long-winded, um, but that is, that is my question. And uh, yeah, give me your answer. So yes, if you have watched, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you found this conversation uh, interesting yourself. I hope that it made you think. Um, not all government regulations are bad. Most of them are. Uh, but like I said, my biggest thing is 
let's not it become let's not let it become a lowest common denominator thing we're all just shoved into a queue like an nct center and to be honest i think i would just ride very illegally if it was nt nct center things because like unless it's an actual biker or someone who handles bikes all the time i'm not letting them touch my bike it's just not going to happen uh, ever <laughs> i'll put that out there it's just not happening you drop my bike uh, i'm going to jail so yeah no no way no way <laughs> um anyway yeah if you watch this far thank you very much for watching let me know all of your opinions down in the comments uh a special thank you as always to all of my patrons you're all legends and i really do appreciate the support you give the channel and uh, particularly when i'm busier and stuff it's it's actually great to see people you know who message me and ask about what's going on etc I, I yeah anyway thank you i appreciate you all massively look at the little baby sheeps oh they're so cute so cute and the thing is i don't really eat lamb or mutton so i can say they're really cute because i don't want to eat them they're gorgeous not that i wouldn't eat them i would but you know i generally don't I eat beef or chicken or fish anyway thank you again for watching and until next time adios outro crew do you have any horror stories with some form of vehicular testing where someone tried to screw you over because you had an old cool car or a customized car or a customized bike or whatever because that's the sort of stuff we really want to avoid and i do know that there's lots of horror stories out there um obviously you know when i had cars back when i had cars i always like modifying them as well and that often fell afoul of a lot of silly silly rules um that in my opinion uh, really don't need to exist so yeah let me know fair play taking my corner away there dumbass let me know what you think let me know bye whoa i nearly forgot about that <laughs>